In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. My dear friends, we gather on this Friday, holiday, Labor Day, which is our last weekend of lockdown. As we do so, we prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries once again by asking the Lord to grant us pardon for our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. Christ of mercy. Christ of mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. May the martyr Saint Boniface be our advocate, O Lord, that we may firmly hold the faith he taught with his lips and sealed in his blood, and confidently profess it by our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. You have followed my teaching, way of life, purpose, faith, patience, love, endurance, persecutions, and sufferings, such as happened to me in Antioch, Iconium, and Lystra, persecutions that I endured. Yet from all these things the Lord delivered me. In fact, all who want to live religiously in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. But wicked people and charlatans will go from bad to worse, deceivers and deceived. But you remain faithful to what you have learned and believed because you know from whom you learned it and that from infancy you have known the sacred scriptures which are capable of giving you wisdom for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful for teaching, for refutation, for correction, and for training in righteousness, so that one who belongs to God may be competent, equipped for every good work. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response, O Lord, great peace have they who love your law. O Lord, great peace have they who love your law. Though my persecutors and my foes are many, I turn not away from your decrees. O Lord, great peace. Peace have they who love your law. Permanence is your word's chief trait. Each of your just ordinances is everlasting. O Lord, Lord, great peace, peace have, have they who love your law. Princes, persecute me without cause, but my heart stands in awe of your word. O Lord, Lord great, great peace, peace have they who love your law. Those who love your law have great peace, and for them there is no stumbling block. O Lord, great, great peace, peace of they who love your law. I wait for your salvation, O Lord, and your commands I fulfill. O, o Lord, great, great peace of they who love your law. I keep your precepts and your decrees, for all my ways are before you. O, o Lord, great, great peace of they who love your law. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was teaching in the temple area, he said, 
How do the scribes claim that the Christ is the son of David? David himself, inspired by the Holy Spirit, said, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand, and I will place your enemies under your feet. David himself calls him Lord, so how is he his son? The great crowd heard this with delight. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear friends, our Mass intention for today, holiday, Labor Day, our Mass intention is for all workers, many of whom have been laid off in the wake of this pandemic. So we hold in our prayers today all workers. Today is the feast of St. Boniface, an 8th century bishop and martyr, and hence we wear the red of martyrdom as our liturgical color today. From our first reading, a reading from the latter, second letter of Timothy, drawn from the pastoral epistles of the Pauline Corpus, we find Timothy, who was a companion of Paul on a number of his missionary journeys, being instructed, as it were, by Paul. And a number of place names are mentioned. Antioch, Iconium, Lystra. You will recall that we've encountered those places as we read through the Acts of the Apostles during the 50 days of the Easter season. Antioch in particular, you may recall, is the place where those who were formerly known as followers of the way were for the first time called Christians. Paul, of course, is the greatest of missionaries, and he mentions that those who proclaim the name of the Lord will indeed have to suffer, be persecuted. The greatest of missionaries, and he, of course, is martyred. We explained how in the images of Paul in art and, 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 and iconography, you see him with the sword, which was the instrument of his martyrdom. Boniface, likewise, in the 8th century, is another great missionary to areas of that today would be Germany and Holland, and he likewise is martyred. Martyred for spreading the word of Jesus. In our gospel today, we find Jesus fully into his public life now. And in his public life, he did a number of things. Of course, we know the miracles and so forth, but he also spent a great deal of time teaching. And we saw how in his teaching, he drew upon the Jewish scriptures, scriptures in which, no doubt, he himself had been formed in his formative years. And drawing upon those teachings, we saw, for example, yesterday, responding to the question put to him about which was the greatest of the commandments. He drew upon the Shema, the great uh, statement of faith from the Jewish, um, uh, statement of belief from the Jewish faith, how we had to love God with all our heart, all our soul, all our mind, and all our strength. This comes from the books of Deuteronomy and Numbers, to which he himself adds a quotation from the book of Leviticus. You are to love your neighbor as yourself. And we spend time speaking about how these two dimensions of faith and life, what we believe in, how we live, are supposed to be consistent and interwoven, and so on. Today again he dips into the Jewish scriptures, this time into the Psalms, Psalm 10. And he explains how he quotes, The Lord said, to my Lord, quoting David, sit at my right hand until I place your enemies under your feet. And he says, David himself called the Messiah Lord. So how can he possibly be David's son? And he's teaching again, Jesus is. The point is that Jesus is a lot more than merely a human lineage. Jesus is indeed Lord. That is to say, he is God and man. He is human and divine. This is the incarnation, the core mystery of our faith. And as he teaches it, we noticed a little gospel today, a very short gospel, concludes with the words, the great 
crowd heard this with delight. The great crowd heard this with delight. The message of the incarnation. The great crowd heard this with delight. Dear friends, would that we too hear that message with delight. This Sunday, of course, we resume our public celebration of the Mass. And as I indicated in the guidelines which we have released since this past Monday, they're available on our web, at the Archdiocesan web page, website. Of course, there are some very definite conditions we have to pay attention to and observe, like wearing face masks, sanitizing our hands, and exercising social distancing, which will impact the amount of people who can attend a Mass, and for that reason the parishes are, will have to increase the number of Masses. Of course, we pray, of course, that everything will move smoothly, and as we move along we will have to, of course, work with our plans. But nonetheless, this Sunday we begin our resumption of public Masses under the special, special conditions laid out and explained in the guidelines I have prepared. Also, we will continue our streaming of the Mass. So this Sunday, the Mass will also be streamed at 9 a.m. This Sunday, it comes from St. Paul's, St. Paul the Apostles Parish. Of course, my friends, we are in hurricane season. We ought not to forget that. We ought, all, ought always to keep that in mind during these months ahead of us. And we ought to make our conscious preparation as we do and never forget to pray that the Lord may protect us from the dangers of hurricanes at this time of year. And let us now put our needs before the Lord as we pray. Let us pray for the church throughout the world that it continue to remain faithful to the word and the life of Jesus our Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our friends. Let us pray that we may have a deeper sense of what the Incarnation means, as Jesus explained, and also as those who heard him today received it with delight. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all workers on this our observance of Labor Day, that all those who have been laid off may indeed have an opportunity to return to work as soon as possible, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray once again for all those who work to heal those affected and infected by her, by COVID-19, particularly those among us. For them we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the guidance of our national leadership, that as we continue to move through this very, very challenging time, we may do so with wisdom and compassion. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us at this time put before the Lord all those needs which are ours, which weigh most heavily upon our hearts at this time. For all these things, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Good and gracious God, hear our prayers and grant our needs in accord with your will and keep us always grateful and faithful to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Bless be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, Father. Sanctify our offerings by your blessing, O Lord, we pray, and by your grace may we be set afire with the flame of your love, through which St. Boniface overcame every bodily torment through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. 
for the blood of your blessed martyr Boniface, poured out like Christ's to glorify your name. Show forth your marvelous works by which in your weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to bear, you, to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of the death and resurrection of your, uh, as we celebrate the memorial of the death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, with me, your unworthy servant, the clergy, all the people, and all your entire people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostle, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, you may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, of mercy, the world of mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, of mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to be unto end of my word. But only said the word in my soul. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Of Christ, keep me safe for eternal life. And now we make our act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are really present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I hunger to receive you. Since I cannot receive communion at this moment, feed my soul at least spiritually. I invite, I unite myself wholly to you now, as I do when I actually receive you. Permit me never to be separated from you. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. 
May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, we pray, give us that determination which made your blessed martyr Boniface faithful to your service and victorious in suffering through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. you Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now our help is in the name of the Lord. May, May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May we all have a restful holiday during this lockdown Labor Day.